This is Dave Bev Lotto Odds. It is June 14, 2020. All right, looks like we're starting the uh, Lotto Club practice session uh, early, a little early. Uh, we're supposed to start tomorrow, but uh, we're going to go ahead and start today uh, because we have a draw tonight. Um, and then we'll do uh, another one tomorrow as well. And uh, every day after that, or, or when uh, Trinity hits. So I'll give you the first draw. And uh, then if it doesn't hit on the first, then tomorrow we'll go to the second and then third until it hits. If it doesn't hit, we'll go to the next uh, draw. But I, as I previously said, the Trinities tend to hit 90 plus percent of the time. All right. Um, tonight, we are starting with the first state that we're going to play Trinity off of is going to be New Mexico. That's right. The drawing is at 11.15. You're getting this at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so you have plenty of time to do your breakdown and communicate with your team and decide what patterns are best to play. All right, so here is Trinity. It's going to be 016, okay? So 016 is the Trinity that we're going to be playing. Lowest winning number is 01. We're going for the win that contains a 0 or a 1. Right, and the reason why also I chose this is because if you count the three past winners here, hold on a second, right here. All right, three past winners, you've got numbers digits zero, one, two, three, five, six, and eight. All right, so four is missing, right, and seven and nine. This gives you a better chance to um, have the winner contained in the combined winners. So a lot of you who utilize the worksheet and match up the combined winners to the numbers in the worksheet will help you identify where the winner might fall. And the majority of the time, it tends the winner to be in the combined winners. So those combined winners, if you highlight the numbers, they'll pinpoint where the winner would, would land. All right. Uh, let's see here. What else I tell you? All right. So New Mexico right there. Drop down menu. Just to let you know that um, we're going to add the one two sum here in the column between the sum and the one two three pattern, and then we're going to highlight any one of them that is um, mirroring the one two sum and the one two three pattern. When they mirror, we're going to highlight it for you. Okay, so you're going to come here, you're going to see one two sums, and you're going to see everywhere where it mirrors. Okay, so it'll help you for quick research. All right, and don't forget down here we have added the um, one, two sums as well here. Okay, the four patterns, one, two sums. All right, here is your worksheet for tonight's practice. It's state um, New Mexico. All right, first uh, trinity is 016. All right, and on the side here, we see the one, two sums I did that manually. Um, you have three here. Look, four numbers, four numbers showed up, right? Three of them, right? Okay, three of them. You had mirrored, right? The, this one because of the three pattern. Remember, keep in mind, three pattern, well, we don't have that as mirroring. Okay, so when you play this, you try to determine that the three pattern is a compound. The best way to do that is you have three patterns in a row, um, you know, that uh, come out, and then you can play safely. Um, <clears throat> so if you feel that a high, high is going to, excuse me, uh, it's not going to be high, high, not in the zero, one. Uh, a low, low also, I talked to some leaders and they said uh, we're going to keep that out for now because they, they don't um, hit often. And because we're dealing with four lower trinities, uh, 0, 013, 0, 014, 0, 016, and 0, 018, you already have two of them, 0, 013 and 0, 014 with a low, low, low. Okay, and let's see here. All right. All right. So now I'm going to add this video here. So when you uh, get this, I'm going to post it in your forums um, each time we play prior to the drawings, give you quite a few hours um, to do your research and you'll see a video as this video will be posted right there. Instructions here. Your team will have three draws to catch the winner. OK, and this is very important. Um, you need your leader needs to work with you to determine once you submit your numbers, and patterns and numbers. Um, if you don't hit it on a first draw, you have to determine whether or not you want to change those numbers for the second and third draws because pattern trends do change. Now, 
A lot of you senior players, okay, you might not need this instruction to guide you because you have your own way of playing and figuring out your numbers. But the beginners, uh, I put this here just to help you out, okay? So number one, decide if the second digit in the winner will be a spike or trough uh, or if you want to uh, work out both patterns. So when I say sp spike or trough, um, down here when you see the numbers, they're divided between the second digit of spike right, and the second digit of trough, okay? So that's your first step. Second step, you want to, to highlight the overdue sums, okay? Take these overdue sums, whether you think it's going to be um, coming out within the 5 draw overdue or 10 draw overdue or 15, 20, 30. Uh, you should highlight the, the sums right there. This helps you see it better. Sums right there. See these sums right there? Just highlight them, highlight them. Okay, highlight them and use different colors to let you see. All right, uh, next step if you choose, if you choose, if you want to, you could highlight the lottery numbers that correspond to all the combined winner numbers. Now, like I said, um, a lot of times, you know, very often the winner is going to be in here. Okay, especially when you're playing with Trinity, the majority of the time the winner was in here. Okay, so you could take these numbers and you could go ahead and plug them into here, okay? Basically highlight the numbers, highlight that, highlight that. I'm gonna show you an easy way to do it. So uh, you could come to the um, prediction page, right? 1000, and you could utilize, say for example, you, you picked uh, Spike, right? You're working on Spike, right there, Spike. Uh, and then you're going to look at the, what high, what's the first one? First one is low, high, high. Okay, so you go to low, high, high, all right? Low, high, high, turn off all these, go to low, high, high, right there, turn that on, all right? And then the next step is to look at the sum. It's sum 10, right? So go down here to sums, okay? Here's sums. Turn off all sums and just turn on sum 10. All right, see if you turn on sum 9, nothing there. It's sum 10, okay? Because it goes for this pattern, it goes from 10 to 17, all right? 10. All right, 10 to 17, 17, hold on, 10 to 17. Oh, sorry, you got to put, remember, we're working with the lowest winning digit, 0, 1. So to go to lowest winning digit, turn off all that, keep 0, 1, and there you go. Okay, for sum 18, excuse me, sum 17. Yes, sum 17, that's the last one here. And then you can do that for the other patterns as well, okay? And then you can just match them up. So you can take these and just, you know, match them up with that. It helps you see it better, okay? Clear the patterns when you're making a decision which, what is going to hit next to win. All right, the next step, decide which one, two sums will be the winner and highlight all one, two sums corresponding to your selection. Uh, so you could go, come here and do your research, okay? Uh, determine what one, two sum you believe one of these four, there's only four of them, may be the next winner. For example, if you look at something like this here, right, you see at the end here there's a one, 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 okay, the second uh, second digits, right, one in a row. Believe If you believe that this is going to flip to a t to a two, then what you can do is you could take out, your first step is to take out all the ones having the one and the second digit right there. So you left with one, two, and two, two, and you could further your research for, from there as well. Because and another thing, remember, the mirroring, a mirroring uh, could happen in this draw with Trinity. So this is one low, uh, and one low, excuse me, one low, two even, uh, and two low, two even, okay? So you could look at that, okay? Um, and also, um, this that would be a direct, uh, a direct, um, a direct hit because you'll have something like this. You'll have something like this coming out, right? You'll have maybe a two. See, these are direct hits. You see, two one, two one, one one, one one. Uh, excuse me, one two, one two. These are direct hits. But then you have something coming out like this, a two two. This still mirrors because two is two lows and two evens. But look at the high and odd. It's one high, one odd, and brings out the same pattern. Okay? Okay? There you go. All right? Um, and then don't forget that when you have a, a an odd in a second digit, it tends to it, it will produce an even sum. 
when you have an even right there, okay, it produces an odd sum. Okay, this doesn't apply for the um, three patterns because they can produce odd and even sums. And these are not being mirrored, okay, so keep that in mind. Okay, so when you decide what one, two, uh, some pattern that you're going, you believe is going to win next, then you come here and highlight them. So if you believe a two, one, a two, two is going to win next, highlight, highlight. You see, highlight those, okay? Um, and if you believe a two, 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 and a two, and a one, two would win, highlight that too. It's still in the same pattern here as well, okay? Uh, let's see what else. Next step. All right, then next step is then highlight all lottery numbers where both the one, two sums and sums are highlighted in the same row. Okay, good. So now what you're going to do here is say, for example, you've highlighted two, two here, right? And if you highlighted sum 11 as well, use different colors to help you see them better. Then take this row of numbers, highlight it. Okay, so when you come back to it later, when you finish your highlighting, you're going to see rows highlighted. And the rows that are not highlighted gives you a clue that the winner was most likely not going to be not going to be there. Okay, but keep in mind that uh, it's not this combined winners doesn't always have the winner in there. So use other methods of doing your research to verify that. Okay, if those are the numbers when you see these numbers highlighted when you finished, if the numbers confirm it with something else that of your research that the number has a high chance of being in there. All right, uh, next step. All right, decide which of the subgroup patterns you believe the winner will hit. All right, so right now we have four subgroups. We have subgroup one, all right, subgroup two, okay, subgroup three, and subgroup four. That's all you have to do. There's going to be polling in the, in, in the bottom, all right, and you're going to Decide which one of these four the winner is going to fall under. I, I want you guys to start out slow, okay? Um, this is a much easier way to do it. Once you get used to everything, in our live practice, what we're going to do, we're not only just going to pick subgroup one, okay, but we're also going to pick the, um, the one, two sums and the sum, okay, in those groups. So we'll pick the subgroup, the pattern, okay, we'll start narrowing it down each time, okay, as you, you get more practice and, and more experienced with this. All right, next step, okay, finally, you're going to submit your vote on your pattern choice in the polling box below. You're going to find the polling box below with the four subgroups, with the patterns, okay. Choose one of them that you believe is going to hit in the next winner, okay, with a zero or a one for a Trinity win. All right, that's it. All right, so I wish you the best of luck. You're, uh, you're competing against four lotto clubs in this week of practice. And then we start our live play. Live play starts next Monday, all right, June 22nd. Good luck to everyone.